Hello everyone and welcome to another video of Epin interview question. In this part we will be covering interview questions from the expression rules. So let's move on to our first question that is we need to write an expression rule which takes two input arrays and concatenates each element of array by index. Uh, we have two inputs that is array 1 a b c d e f and then we have array 2 p q r s t u and the output should be a is mapped to p b is mapped to q c is mapped to r with a hyphen in between each one of them d is mapped to s e is mapped to t and f is mapped to u so this should be the output so try it yourself and we will be uh, coming up with a video soon where we will be presenting all the answers if you get stuck somewhere please drop a comment below over here and we will be happy to assist you over it so let's move on to our next question that is we need to write an expression rule to print the below output with the two input arrays. Let's say we have an input array 1 that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Then we have input array 2 that is A, B, C, D, E. Now the output is a bit complicated over here. As you can see that the first element of array 2 is mapped with in the reverse order of the array 1 that is a5 a4 a3 a2 a1 similarly now coming on to the next one next element that is b element from array 2 is mapped in the ascending order of the array 1 that is B1, B2, B3, B4 and B5. Now coming on to the next output that is C, element C of array 2 is mapped again in the descending order. That is C5, C4, C3, C2, C1 and so on. So let me know in the comments that uh, if you get stuck somewhere with this question or if you are if you need some help with this question, I'll drop a comment below and uh, we'll provide you the answers in the upcoming videos. Now moving on further with our next question that is We need to write an expression rule to print all the prime numbers between a given range. Let's say we have a given range that is from 10 to 100, right? So we need to write an expression expression rule to print all the prime number between 10 to 100 I think this one is pretty easy so good luck to you guys so moving on further with our next question that is now we have one star pattern over here you might be feeling nostalgic about this star pattern question that uh, in your programming days where you were learning programming from python or java or any other programming language you were given these questions but these questions uh, can also be achieved in appian as well so the question over here is we need to write an expression rule to print, print the below pattern for any given input n right so right now n is 5 so this is the output for uh, this 5 like uh, 5 stars basically then we have 4 stars in our next row then we have 3 stars basically in the descending order okay so moving on further with our next star pattern question that is write an expression rule to print the below pattern basically we have a star pattern let's say we have n equals to 5 so this is the output for n equals to 5 so over here we need to print the we need to write the code over here to print this pattern moving on further with our next question that is again uh, we have a star pattern question over here that uh, we need to write the expression rule to print the star pattern in the increasing order that is the first L, uh, first star then we have two stars then we have three asterisks 
then we have 4 and so on right where n equals to 5 so moving on further with our next question that is how we can find the power of a number that is x to the power of y without using the appian function power we, although we have an appian function that is power instead of using that how we can find uh, like a, is there any brute force approach or any other thing so you can give it a, a try by yourself right so let me know in the comments if you get stuck somewhere or if you are facing some issue we'll be happy to assist you over there so moving on further with our next question that is here is the tricky one basically it has been asked in multiple interviews by various clients so the question is we need to write an expression rule to print the number between a given range but there are certain conditions over it let's say the given range is 1 to 20 okay now moving on to our first condition if the number is divisible by 3 then we need to print divisible by 3 instead of that number right similarly we have condition 2 if the number is divisible by 5 then we need to print divisible by 5 instead of that number now moving on to our condition 3 that is if the number is divisible by both 3 and 5 then we need to print 3 and 5 instead of those numbers so what will be the output for a range 1 to 20 that is 1 2 instead of 3 we will print divisible by 3 next we have 4 uh, instead of 5 we will print divisible by 5 instead of 6 we will print divisible by 3 and so on till 14 or we'll follow up till over here then the number 15 is divisible by 3 and 5 both right so we will replace it with the text based on our condition 3 that is divisible by 3 and 5 and then so on so this is uh, one of the interview question which has been asked in multiple multiple cases basically so moving on for uh, that's all for our end uh, thank you guys and happy learning see you soon in the next video probably and don't worry we will be providing you answers for this one in the upcoming videos